Hey everybody, it's Rhonda, and in this video I am going to show you how you can fix uh, generated images that have been cut off. All right, I know it's happened to all of us. We'll generate an image, and it's a great image, but it wasn't completely contained within the frame, um, and it was cut off, so you don't really want to use it. So I'm going to show you how you can fix that. All right, I'm going to show you two different ways. The first one is with Canva, and then the second one is with Photoshop. So I have this image that I created um, a couple week or two ago, and you see it's, it's an awesome image, but it is cut off on each side. All right, it's not like a finished image. So I'm going to show you how we can fix this in Canva. I'm going to select the image. We're going to go up here to Edit and we are going to click on magic expand free form and I'm just gonna draw it out a little bit on both sides alright and I'm gonna click expand okay so it has finished I'm not real thrilled with that but it gave us a few different options so we can pick which one we like the most and go from there okay that one's not too bad so I'll click done and now that has pretty much expanded and finished my image I can use that now for whatever I want I'll remove the background and then I'll upscale it in another program all right now let's do this again with another image let me delete this one I'm gonna drag in another image I made and you see these women this is a great image for clip art but the women are cut off on both sides so I don't like that so we're gonna go back to edit magic expand and we're gonna expand this just a little on both sides and click expand and it takes just a minute for this to do its thing alright and you can see it completed look at the different options it gave us and I think this one click done and for this one I would definitely re remove the background so let's remove the background right away just so you can see what it looks like and that looks pretty good okay so now you can save it and upscale it and use it as clip art it looks great now all right, so the other way is in Photoshop. And again, here we have that same image. So what I did was I created a blank artboard. I'm going to drag that in here. I'm going to make it just a little bigger so you can see it a little better. All right, and now what I'll do is I'll take my rectangle tool and I will just there click generate a fill and I'm not going to enter anything in I'm just going to let it do its thing intuitively this will take just a second all right and that has generated and scaled that side out let's do the other side Oops. there we go generate a fill Okay, and that gave us the fill. Let's see what our other options are. I think that one that'll be easiest to remove the background from. So we will flatten this image the way it is. Now you can either remove the background here or you can uh, send it to My Designs or Canva or Kittle or whatever it is you use to remove your backgrounds. All right. So that's how you do that one. Let's do let's do another get rid of that one. Let me bring in another one. Let's do that same floral mandela that we did in Canva. Make that just a little bit bigger. 
right, and the same thing. Take your rectangle tool, select, generate a fill, generate. Okay, and this is what it gave us, and we can go through, it gives us a couple different options. I think I like that one. And then we will just do the same thing on this side. Okay, and it gave us, let's see what we've got here. And I like that one. So once again, we will just flatten this image. And now we have an image that is complete. It's not cut off, all right? So I just wanted to show you how to do this. So you're not wasting your generation credits or generation hours by um, just throwing something like this in the garbage because it was cut off. It's easy to fix. Like I said, you can do it in Canva, you can do it in Photoshop. I did try to do it in Photop, but honestly, it wasn't that great. So, you know, if you can avoid that, I would. If, you know, Photop is your only option. You may have to run it a few times till you get something that is acceptable. And I'm going to do this one more time with this cute little gnome here. Again, I'm going to make him a little bit bigger. And this one was almost complete. It's just a little bit on each side. So let's do this. All right, and that looks good. So we're gonna do the other side now. All right, and now that side's done too, and that looks really good. So we are just going to flatten, and that is that. Now, again, these will need to have their backgrounds removed. You can do it here or you can do it, you know, in any of your background removal um, programs. But here real quick, just to see. I'm not usually a fan of Ops background remover. It isn't as, isn't as intuitive as I would like it to be. So I typically do mine in other locations. But let me get this down here. Let me turn that on. Let's see cover that back. Yeah, see, I'm not a fan. Um, like I said, I usually do my background removal in another program, usually Kittle or uh, my designs. I do it right in there. So, but this was all I wanted to show you, how easy it is to repair these um, images that are cut off in your generator. So you can still use them and you don't just have to keep regenerating new images. Um, use what they give you and you know take a minute and just repair it and either you know canva photoshop choice is yours it's completely up to you here's another one that's you know just cut off just a tiny bit on each side and it seems such a shame to uh, not use this image because it's cut off just a tiny bit when we can fix that in a matter of a minute. So since I have it open, I'm going to do this one too for you. All right, and you see how quickly that did that. Let's do this side. All right, and that's what that gave us. Let's, I like that one. I think I like number two the best. And now you can you know, save that, flatten it, and be done with it. In fact, what I am going to do is, eh, no, I'm not going to. I was going to go through the whole back rem remover again, but you saw how it works, and I know it's not going to work well on this image. So, But that's how you fix them. Really quick, really easy. Stop wasting your... AI generation credits and hours, you know, when you just get a cutoff image that you can quickly repair in um, Photoshop or Canva. All right. So I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you next time.